there's probably people in your family that's like, oh, he's not doing much. He should get a job. She's not doing much. She's living in the fantasy world. But see what they don't understand. He's here. Proverbs 20, verse 13. Do not love sleep, lest you come to poverty. Proverbs 10, verse 4. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. John 15, the true vine. Jesus says, I, I am the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. You see where we're going? For without me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them in the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. At this, my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. Wow. And you wonder why you came to this video. You wonder why you clicked on this video, the thumbnail straight to the point, simple. But I'm here to tell you, there is a reason you clicked on this video. It's either because you know you have not been giving your full 100%. You know that you can be doing more to be successful. You know that you can be doing more to have a happier life, to be a happier person. Nothing makes me different from you and I. To tell you, to tell you that success does not just come out the microwave. Success is not an overnight thing when it involves your real true purpose. Success is something that takes time to craft, something that you love and that you appreciate, but you will receive none of that if you don't take it, if you don't attack it. You know you haven't been given your all. You know that you could be doing more. That's why you clicked on this video. I'm gonna give you that motivation. I'm gonna give you that push that you need. You know you don't like the job that you work at, boom. You know you don't like the relationship that you're in, boom. You don't like your friends, you may not even like your parents. But I'm here to tell you that here on earth, you can do something about it. The verse that I just read you, backs up even more evidence of what I'm about to say. That faith without works is dead. If you have a dream and you don't believe in it, it's dead. It's not going to happen. Make all this time for it and then you don't get it done. That's because your why isn't big enough. Who are you doing this for? Who life are you trying to change? Because I know it's just not yours. And even if it is yours, it's going to affect other people as well. You must detach from the results. I see people all the time. I meet people all the time talking about some, oh, I started this. I stopped. You started. You stopped. You started. You stopped. Stop. It's either you believe in it or you don't. Stop spreading your energy out into things and not finishing it. Because the real, the real truth is that you're not going to love everything 100%. Not your job, not your dream life, not your dream relationship, your dream car, your dream appearance, your dream career. You're, you're gonna have some off days. You're not gonna always like the, the, those things because we are flesh, we are moody, we are picky sometimes. What's not okay is stopping and starting. Are we that non-believing in ourselves? Whatever you wanna be, I'm here to tell you, 
You need to say, like Jesus said, it is finished. We're changing the whole entire generational patterns. We cannot be emotional with this part of our lives. We have to keep hitting that tree in that same spot until it comes down. We have to keep going. We got to build that resilience. You got to persevere and realize that if you make one YouTube video and it gets one view, guess what? Who cares? It got one view and guess what? Somebody watched it. You impacted their lives. You already made a difference. Something you need to realize when you have a purpose, you're no longer doing it for yourself. You're doing it to help other people. You got to study your craft. You got to study other people. You have to read. You have to educate yourself. You be obsessed with your craft. And yes, it's okay to rest, but we're using that rest so that we don't get burnt out so that we can keep going. And I want you to start protecting your mind. Your mind is gold. Your mind is treasure. You want to know why every time you was in school growing up and you were learning, your parents might say, your teachers might have said, knowledge is power. But the problem is, the problem with that is that you know you have people around you who are holding you back. And the problem is that they're getting full access to you, which is ultimately draining you, which is ultimately draining your mindset, which is ultimately dra draining your success, your, your dream life, your dream outcome. But you know what's the problem, but won't eliminate it. Do we have to eliminate them 100%? Absolutely not. But we can definitely show love from a distance. Start setting expectations about this is the type of friends that I want. This is the type of environment that I want to be in. This is the romanticizer life. I would love to make sure that if I'm going to be at my desk working all the time, I'm going to have a nice keyboard. I'm going to have a nice desk. I'm going to have a nice mouse. Start setting expectations of your life. Start setting standards. You're a big deal. That's the problem. You are playing small. You have to understand that although the results are not resulting, you have to keep going because then the results will result. And if you don't keep going, the results will never result. You have to detach from the results. This thing called life, this world, you think they, you think they care about your dream? No, they don't, but you do. You want to know what poor stands for? Passing over opportunities repeatedly. And that is what you do. But it ends today. Keep going. Persevere. Consistency. Keep going no matter the results you're getting. No matter how tired. No matter the situation. No matter the circumstances. Because at the end of the day, you will reap your harvest. You will reap what you sow. In order for success to happen in your life, you must attack it because it's your dream. It's yours. And ultimately, you could have it all. But the one person that's stopping you from having it all is you. And that ends today.